Replit Agent version 2 and it's available now and this is more powerful than its previous version. With real-time app design preview, can provide feedback before moving forward with your build. You can see the real-time feedback here, the real-time build. Guiding through the entire ideation process and recommending which steps to take using AI agent. You can enable that today by going to your account settings, then choosing preference and then enabling explorer. Many are creating insane application using this Replit version 2 and it's really powerful with just few lines of code, with just a single prompt. And at the back end, it uses Claude 3.7 Sonnet, one of the most powerful model for coding. And it creates beautiful interface. I'm going to show you a use case on how you can get started. Even if you're an absolute beginner, you don't know anything about coding, but still you should be able to do it to create an end to end application. Also, you can get it started for free as there is a free tier here. But before that, I want to let you know about GTC conference from NVIDIA. It happens March 17th to 21st and you have various workshops such as building an agentic AI system, building future ready AI with agents and data flywheels, AI agents in production, best practices, how to onboard your team of AI agents and much more. I'll put the link in the description for you to know more. Coming back to the Replit, create an account, then you'll be provided with a box like this. So here I can just say the application which I want to create. Create a basic Replit clone. So that's all I enter here and I click start. Now this is a new interface in version 2. It comes like a chatbot and now it's a planning phase. Now it's asking me for more information. What specific feature you like in Replit clone? What programming language? Any particular UI styling? Are there specific development capabilities? Keep it all simple and easy to implement. Make sure the whole feature set works. That's it. Now it says, I'll create a plan for a simple working Replit clone with basic features. And now it's proposing MVP and it gives additional features such as support for additional languages, persistent storage. So going to choose what I want and click approve. And now you can see the agent started working on the right hand side and this uses Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So the first step is designing your app. You can see the code getting streamed and it's all in real time. Now you can see it named the application as code space with the run feature new and it's automatically creating all this structure and you can see the app in real time. The front end is being developed. This is beautiful. It plans for console problems terminal and it's now working on the pop up. Now on the left hand side, you can see it's reviewing the message. You also have option to roll back. Now I can see it's working for the back end. So I'm just going to click this area so you can see the code which is getting created. So this is the backend code. So you got two things. One is the backend code and the front end. Front end is already done. Now focusing on the backend. It created all those files. You can see all the files which got created and now it's installing the dependencies as you can see here on the right hand side. Everything is automated and I'm super impressed about this. Now it found some issues here and it took a screenshot automatically and now it's going to try to fix the issue as you can see here. I didn't do anything at all. It's proposing the fix, making all the required changes. Now, if I look the UI, you can see it's beautiful. Again, there's the error. Let's see if it's going to identify that. Now it's all fixed and I can see it's working. Here is the review. I've fixed the issues, all these issues fixed and it's asking me to try the app and let me know if everything is working properly. Let's try that. Let's click a file and I can see an error here. So just copying the error code and just pasting it here and clicking enter. Now everything is fixed. Let's try creating a file, new file, Mervin Prison, and it's a JavaScript file. Clicking create, and I can see it got created. Let me try creating a folder, Prison, and create. Doesn't seem to have worked, but I can still see the file getting created. But the folder creation and project creation is an extra step. But I'm going to say I'm not able to view the code. So sending the error message, I'm not able to view the code in each file. Also note that you got all the files saved here. You are able to view all the files like you got server folder, client, shared, and this is all neat and clean. Even if you want to edit it, you can just open and edit it 
based on your requirements. Now I can see a clean application. So I'm going to open this in a new window by clicking this icon, open a new browser. And here is the preview. And this looks brilliant. Let me create, create a new file, app.js, creating it. And you've got the pre editor here. That is really nice. So let me try creating a new index.html. And here is the editor code. Let me preview it. And you are able to preview that. That is brilliant. And I really like this. Also, it's just with few iterations. So I had to take screenshots or tell the agent to take screenshots to view the errors if anything happened. And it took approximately 20 minutes for me to build this application. And you are able to create files, edit the code within the file, as you can see here, and then preview the changes. That is really nice. Now I can add the ability to save it and do a lot more. But I'm going to leave it here. And I'm really impressed with this version two because mostly everything is automatic. It's same like complete agentic mode. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Replit agents, I also create another video which explains about the beginner's tutorial on how to create application. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.